they is all trying to think that uh, this crisis is over kind of thing you know normalize and just to cover of the failure there's all kinds of statement he has been making you know all contradictory if you follow all that he said right from the day one uh, we don't know what he he has in his mind he said something he said something else he will say x is the cause sometimes he say y is the cause he keeps on shifting his statement and he said it's not going to be easy for people to return home very quickly and he says six months we will have peace as if i don't know whether he meant by that all these uh, internally displaced people will go back to their original homes within six months only a few uh, weeks ago he said it's going to take time so does it mean that by peace normalization these people will also go back what does he mean by that he keep on saying all kinds so i don't give too much importance to what he says because he is only a small time player the tragedy in manipur the actual responsibility is the government of india because they have sent 60000 troops despite their presence violence has not gone down and it seemingly they have taken over unconstitutionally the law and order from the state government not through a proper channel it is a admission by the chief minister and one of his cabinet ministers that security adviser was appointed by the union government yet the order was issued by the state government so it is a satra is a local satra you know who is serving the dictates of delhi so i think you know i don't give too much importance to you know uh, the we should not distract from the fact that the major role is the government of india if the constitutional machinery is collapsed they should have done what is the appropriate actions to make the state government accountable for the failure no they didn't do it because ultimately you realize that the game plan they are just using this promoting and protecting such kind of a satraf in the uh, in in the state and you know and ruling through these proxies to implement certain agendas by the government of india i mean that is very clear for 15 months this violence has happened despite the presence of these troops and this is unprecedented is like a ukraine style you know bombing which is internationally illegal as well they started resorting to this and india is such a superpower it you know air force and and you know army and special troops and others and you think you can't control and then people can go on bombing and killing innocent people this way i mean that clearly shows that government of india is complicit in these actions and they have propped up a satraf like the government of manipur and and to implement their agendas and so that's the situation i look at it at the moment yeah three day forms of violence when you are not able to move to your own house to to stay in your own place that's a violence only firing and killing is not the only expression of violence violence is a humiliation that people have gone through I've said this many times it is within the bjp government and the party member of the bjp is spearheading this movement for separate administrations at the same time it is the chief minister says that no separate administration so fight the one who is supposed to rule the state the cabinet of manipur is splitted within the party ruling party is splitted within so they should join together and prime minister should ensure that they should talk first and resolve within them once you have a stable government then you can handle all this thing government itself is in doldrum you understand what i am saying the prime minister don't care to visit he is more concerned for peace in ukraine than manipur he has more Uh, feeling for victims in other states like orissa or others and he thinks manipuri suffering is nothing to him you know that is what and then the, the government of manipur chief minister will defend modi and amit shah and under whom the 60000 troops operate in manipur and this is modi ji late government has stripped him of his own power and he defends them that's the irony of it no chief minister in the self respecting chief minister will defend that government who stripped of his own power 
to run the state as a chief minister, as a law and order situation is under his command that was taken away from him. He admits that, his cabinet minister, and when we criticize that government of India and Modi, he defends them. And when the people of Manipur are unhappy with the central security forces for allowing this kind of a bombing, which I talked to Kuldeep Singh the other day, the security advisor, he was suspecting that this must be kooky groups because the firing comes from there. He admitted to that one. And the government of Manipur's own police can't make a, even a wrong assessment of the situation. Instead of doing investigation and at least saying that it is a suspected kooky militants, instead they said alleged, it's a third person expression, somebody has alleged, not by the police. Am I making that the choice of the Home Department says reportedly by kooky militants? You know, when you say reportedly by kooky militants or alleged kooky militants, you, you're talking somebody else's viewpoint, right? Somebody alleged, somebody has reported. But if I am the investigating agency police, my first statement should have been own up that statement and say, it's a suspected kooky militants. I talked to um, Kuldeep Singh over the phone and he admits that is, he suspects that this could be cookie groups who are firing and bombing these uh, disturbing people and killing these innocent people in Kokthru. They admitted, you know, instead of that in Facebook, you allow these demonized one communities, you know, that instead of the state must come in and then occupy that information space. He doesn't allow, you know, he encourages everybody to accuse and demonize this other's community. Rather than officials coming it up, his own official statement, I just told you, did not even own up the statement he says is alleged and reportedly by Kuki Militant, instead of saying suspected Kuki Militants. You, you understand? It's all kinds of uh, abnormality you see. This is a chaos. I, I just found another um, document where the DZP has formed a committee to coordinate properly this and then investigate on this incident of uh, you know, drone bombing. Um, there is another group called Unified Headquarter, which is popularly, commonly referred to as Unified Command, to coordinate the security agencies. We don't know who's working. One cabinet minister, his BJP MLA saying, we want separate administration and they're spearheading. We can't live together. This is what they are preaching. And then on the other hand, the CM says that we will not give separate. So who's fighting? The government itself is fractured. And the Modi should have called them and said, you know, resolve this first at your level. Once the government is unified and they can control this violence, they can't. It's a complete failure. And then in the process, we have lost lives. And then 15 months long violence. It, they said, what has happened? It's unprecedented and government of India has not come out. Ulta, they will say, starting BJP's cadres have been sent out to say, Rahul Gandhi chup kyo hai? Congress chup kyo hai? Usko pushna chahiye na? Home minister chup kyo hai? Condemn karna chahiye? Defense minister chup kyo hai? Modi chup kyo hai? Why don't they condemn? Because they are the government. Kuch nahi bolte. That this is creating complete confusions and, 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 and all shameless. And then we suffer as a people. 15 months. You understand it? I mean, I wish so sad that the woman who died was visiting Uski Maike ki ayate, khana khane ke liye. O wapa zane wale te, mother ne kus ruke rakha hua ta, gari pata ne isi bola. And he was standing outside and he was, she was killed. It's a symbolic of home being destroyed, either ways. And then we said that Indian Army is blocking and the Central Security Forces are deployed, that despite that these people are shooting down on the valley, and then the, can't, the government police can't even say that it is suspected cookie militants. He said, alleged, reportedly. I don't mention this name, only when an officially, my principle is very clear. It's only when the official confirmation comes, then I speak. Otherwise, what happens is you have this propaganda and demonizing communities will follow, which aggravates the situation. It deepens the divide. Some people want to divide Manipur, and they have played out, and many have fallen prey to that one. 
जितना आप हेट करोगे इच अदर को दैन द डिवाइड बिकम्स मोर कंसोलिडेटेड बेज ऑन दैट डे सेट अभी रह नहीं सकता हम एक एक ही साथ नहीं रहेगा वी कान स्टे टूगेदर द डिवाइड इज टू डीप एंड हैंड सेपरेट एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन दैट्स अ लॉजिक सो इन ऑर्डर टू अरेस्ट दैट काइंड ऑफ अ डिविजन यू ट्राई टू स्टॉप दिस you know unnecessarily demonizing the entire community but they have been doing it maitai have been demonized as the perpetrators through disinformation campaign on media for so many years i tried my best with the team of people trying to check the national media on this and then on the other hand entire kuki communities has been branded where the chief minister has his own cabinet ministers openly demanding the uh, tearing apart of manipur and uh, you see this is this is where a uh, entire official machinery is a uh, political majority some of these uh, kuki mlas they have never appeal for peace right from the day one bjp members normally what do you expect when violence occur then politician states when you appeal for peace and calm right instead within 48 hours they started said ethnic cleansing separate administrations that's why i call it 3rd of may 2023 is the direct action day remember that august 16 muslim league or violence started in kolkata 10000 people lost their lives within a period of 3 days then followed by massive genocidal crime in punjab isliye maine bola 3rd of may is the direct action day to this ukraine style terror attack by drone bombing ye kisne kiya ye you have to find it out but the most important is the direct finger should go to 60000 central troops what they have been doing and under whose command are they do you think the minister is uh, at the head of no is the union government because is a union troops and who are this union government bjp led government led by prime minister modi home minister amit shah defense minister rajnath ji isn't it it is their command and usine uska power bhi nikal diya and then one week point our fingers and criticize modi and the central government he said hamara kya mu dikha ke chale jaoge prime minister ke paas why you criticize modi ji he is trying to defend him so it's a crazy thing his own cabinet minister he fought and then the central government play havoc in with our life not intervene not even visit and he defends that one and he allows this communal hatred to flourish in the state everywhere helping those people who want to divide and you know some people who has this mindset of divide and rule among communities you you are picking you you becoming a victim or a willing partner to this whole divide and rule policies mm -hmm.